Hello everyone, welcome back uh, to Hogwarts Legacy, and uh, please leave any suggestions, comments, and subscribe, leave a like, and let's get on with it. Um, today we are going to look around and see what we can find out for our second part here. Hmm. Is the common room this way? No. We just came out of that room. Where the heck? Now, which way is the common room? Oh, uh, it gets confusing around here. Alright. Let's go around this spiral staircase. Here we go. This is the right way. Alright. We already talked to Cressida. But I guess that save didn't count that, so we'll talk to her last. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> Nelly well, Oxfire, huh? Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Oxfire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Hmm, well, of course. Yes. Our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling! And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. Well, that's good, I guess. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you <laughs> scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. <laughs> scale her next tower? Okay then. Uh, introduce hey, ourselves to Gareth. Go on. Gareth Weasley, huh? Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Lots of Weasleys. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh. Didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Yeah, of course they all are. Um... Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Nice to know. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to Butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. <laughs> Are you having butterbeer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there, based on some reactions that may need a bit more work. May need a bit more work, eh? Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. Well, that was a decent chat from them too. Um... Cressida, I guess we gotta do this again, oh, even though we just right. did it really thought I had it. Get it over with? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? Uh, I wouldn't say protege. I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Hmm... Oh yeah, we already Don't worry. went through all we'll that. Don't worry, we'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. 
I'm just going to keep at it. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. Right. There we go. Now we can go on. Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Alrighty then. Let's head out the common room door then. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Sounds pleasant. Ooh, a here book. you are. Look, and magically just help. That's a lot of different spiral and things just coming out of it. Okay then. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. Oh, well, you handy. You will be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Definitely keep that in mind. Thank you, Professor, but... What do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. That would help. Where are we going? Uh, I'd like this to way. follow you if you go somewhere. The guide will give you <laughs> opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Well, that don't sound very useful to me. Why do students always I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide was will hilarious in the movies. To be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Oh, you're pretty slow. I don't see an issue ah, keeping up there. The guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Uh, Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll Lumos. see what the guide says. Uh, well. Revelio. There we go. This portrait depicts the wizard Buffurio, famed for his brain elixir and as an example of what happens when incantations are improperly spoken. He once said S instead of F and found himself on the floor of a, with a buffalo on his chest. Well, sounds painful. I wouldn't want to be that guy. Press escape. Continue. Challenges, eh? Field guide pages. So that's... Ah, each challenge has tiers and special rewards. Okay. Nice to know. Where are you headed to now? Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. <laughs> inside <laughs> and outside of the castle. Peeves is hilarious. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Just loves to make all kinds of comedian jokes around the Hogwarts place. Weird little guy. Can we not do the waypoints yet? Oh, Good yes time. we can. Awesome. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your oh, field guide called. contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. M for the map. Okay, simple enough. Ah, big freaking map. Well, there's the Quidditch area, even though there's no Quidditch. It's like South Wing. In this view. Oh, okay. So, gray, we need to find green already done. Select the uh, library. 
as unlock this one. Ah, helpful. At least we ain't gotta walk all the way around with her being slow. Hopefully, this will get us quicker quite through. The time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Yeah, where's our first class? I don't. Central Hall don't mean nothing. Anywhere in the castle, quickly from Central Hall. Well, that's a nice Always tip. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station. So Revelio. I know there's something on this fountain. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. Eh, and I'd like to be bad. sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Oh, yeah, Hogsmeade would be great. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butter beer there with friends in due course. It definitely is great being in Britain. <laughs> Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Sounds good. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. That's all nice to know. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day. And you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging uh. by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Mm, I feel like we can trust we her. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. <laughs> Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And Sounds invaluable like we have to. to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. That'd be great. Get out the castle for a minute. What well, you want? It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Yes, sir. But I didn't tell her anything else about her travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. 
It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the Field Guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Hmm. You can track available quests from the map. Okay. Map represents main quests. Not bad. Grand XP. Defense against the dark arts. And charms. Hmm. You know, I kind of feel like neither of those The map is enchanted to help useful. you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now... Focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be a full game if it wasn't, would it? Right. Now we can actually... Ooh, charmed compass, eh? Ah, so it's kind of harder to see out here. Foggy. Charm compass will help us around though. That'll be helpful. Ooh. Wait a minute. There it is. Haha. -ha. Let's go ahead and go in here and start this quest. Is that all you've got? Yeah. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. <laughs> it was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt, no? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Hmm. Okay. I'm glad it's just a space bar with this. Makes it a little bit easier. Not so complicated, at least. Sucks. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast? This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. So, Remember, a surprise like like this one. Ah, not too hard Levioso. at all. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. 
<laughs> we'll take someone out. You two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. This. Levioso, this can't be your first duel. Let's just say. Well, of course I does that. Ah, oh, dang it. Ha, <laughs> that was easy. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> Rude. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If nice what to get I've points, seen today least. is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom okay, duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Sounds like a subtle hint. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive unsanctioned dueling organization. I knew that sounded like a hint. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. I swear, he is rude and Till nice at the time. same time. Some people are just like that. Right. I know there's a chest in here, but I've never been able to find it. Honestly, I have no doubt in my mind I'm not going to be able to find it just right now. So I may do a little off-camera work just looking around for it again. But just for the off chance, I thought I'd look around again. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where this chest is supposed to be at all. Saying it's at the door. Hell, ain't, ain't nothing at the door, dude. Alright. Um... We're supposed to go up, right? Yeah. Right. Let's open this flu network, though. Where is it? I know it's here. Ah, uh, I think it's upstairs. Yeah. Okay. Should be over. There's one. Eh, uh, maybe that one's downstairs. Ooh, cat. I thought that was a cat. The <laughs> I actually thought that was the cat. Hilarious. Revelio. What's here? I heard that. Thought I did. Weird. Alright. Um is it still upstairs? 
Yeah, but I believe... How do we get in here? I don't remember how you get in there, really. Alright. Professor Fig's classroom. Good to know. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Treasure. Ah, uh, you gotta be invisible to get that treasure. Rude. Ooh, what's in here? Hmm. There's a treasure. Wand. Professor Fig. As if my schedule wasn't congested enough, the ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts, a fifth year, if you can believe it. Uh, Professor Phineas. Huh. Rude. Rebellion. This, this guy definitely rude. Where's the foo thing? Is it in here? No. Weird. Okay. Well. That's fine. We'll just go to our charms classroom. See what we got going over here. I believe it's upstairs again. Yeah, there it is. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. Alright. See what we can find out from this class. I believe here. we're learning Accio. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Mm. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? I have no idea either. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing oblivion on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you <clears throat> even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Hmm. Okay then. Ah, there's where we're learning another. Ah, there we go. I was like, wait a minute, why'd it go the other way? My mouse flickered the other way. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Okay, then. He is one weird professor. I could say that for sure. But to be fair, I'm sure we've seen even weirder from the movies and in the game. Ah, I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> hmm. 
Ah, uh, minigame. <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Eh? Oh, come on, really? Eh? Eh? Rude. <laughs> Can't at least see how it's done first. Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your Accio. At the last one. That's it! Stay focused. Oh, what? I did release it. Very good. Not to worry. Wait, so how do you... S so... There we go, Excellent. so you need Control to re... There. Ah, so you press the button twice and it releases it. Very good. I was like, wait to a Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? At least I figured Come it out on. first. You'd be Wouldn't have been a fun challenge. Before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? All right. Yes, sir. Let's see here. You going first or what? Yes, oh, and you can knock him out, can't you? There we go. Okay. Akio. There we go. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Almost knocked her off though. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, I seriously gotta well knock done. one of these off. Let us see this. Oh, she ain't gonna be able to get a 50 this time. All right, all right. I got this. That is how it's done. Maybe. Let's see here. Akio. Come on, come on. Nope, 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 nope. Ah! Happens to the best of us. Dang it! I should have just knocked it into my other one over here, and I would have knocked hers off, and I would have won. Ah! You got lucky there. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? What are you talking about interesting? What? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. What? I'll say. What kind of crap Enough is that? Chatter, focus now, you will need it. This round yeah, settles right. it all. Good. Here we go. At least she didn't win. <laughs> oh, come on now. Alright, I'm gonna wanna grab that one. That's it. There we go. Where is she going? Ah, I see. I'm gonna try to knock mine into the 50. Dang it. Close. Nicely done. Let us see this. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. This time we actually need to get 50. Come on. No, come on. No, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> I win. I will get you back for that. <laughs> I'll take that one. <laughs> Very good, both of you. Well done. Alright. What are we up to next? Mm. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. What? I just beat you. 
That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach Waga divination what? here. Before Wagadu. I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Ah, Uganda. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Better not, because... Of course. We already found out what happens when we save you, in the middle of a you quest. You wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Well, if it helps me, sounds good. Right. Alrighty, guys. Hello Thank you for joining Hello me for this episode. I think that is going to be it for it today. I'm just going to go ahead and quickly save here. And then be on our way. I hope you all have a wonderful day ahead of you. And with that, I bid you adieu.